Well, hi. Yeah, I have uh, pulled out a bunch of uh, items from my years of using the photo CD system, and that would be the Kodak photo CD system from uh, the early 1990s. And uh, it changed a lot of things um, dramatically in that era, early era of uh, digital imaging, uh, computers, personal computers. And um, so what I've done is I've kind of gone through a lot of things that I had in storage for years and years. And um, we're going to take a look. And this is just going to be an overview. And uh, we'll begin by... Um, what I have here are just a few items scattered about, uh, some knickknacks, uh, stickers and buttons, some original brochures, some items, just a point of purchase uh, when they were just introducing the Kodak Photo CD system. And this would be when you would take your film in for processing, you could also have your images scanned and um, they'd be written to these Kodak Photo CDs. So what I'd like to do is actually show what I have in my collection, which are a number of demo discs. And at the time, and I have a little bit of the sniffles, I apologize. So at the time, there were certainly a lot of demo discs. You're going to get a lot of reflection, I imagine. Um, I'm just shooting this with regular light, so bear with me. But I'm going to run through these. Uh, many of these came directly from Kodak. And um, again, they were demonstrating the system itself, how the scans were produced, and then you had companies that were coming along after the fact, and I'll get to those momentarily, and um, it was all moving forward rather uh, quickly, and here you can see this is actually uh, Kodak's annual report, and it's actually produced on a Kodak photo CD, so that's 1993. Um, here is a demo disc of a portfolio disc and Road to Success, so it has to do a lot about working with the photo CD scans. Uh, keep in mind, uh, di digital imaging was quite fresh and new, Photoshop was new, and um, this happened to be uh, a demo disc, I believe, from a lab in Santa Monica called Miller Imaging. They were, I believe, the first lab in Los Angeles to open up a photo CD, uh, what was the photo CD imaging workstation and lab. Um, this happens to be some company put this out as a sample, but it was all done in, with the photo CD scans. And of course, stock photography went, uh, went through the roof because these were now much uh, more affordable scans than what we previously had available in, say, the late, late 1980s where to have one single frame of film scan could be $75 at the time, which was quite pricey. And so again, I have uh, a lot of the original brochures that were uh, made available at the time discussing uh, the photo CD system and the many ways um, to use it and showing, demonstrating how it was actually done by scanning your film. And I actually operated a PIW in uh, the mid-1990s, and that was quite a great experience. This is actually the original guidelines for using the Kodak Photo CD trademarks. And this is quite, quite interesting to see. And again, I'm just going through things rather quickly. And if, if there's an interest, um, you know, other uh, folks that have used the system in the past, I'm kind of uh, just going back in time and re-familiarizing re, uh, myself with how it was done. Now, I still have many, many of my own photo CDs, which I have many, many images that I can still pull up, believe it or not. I've found a, um, an application that can open the full image file, which is great. So these are just examples of my discs over the years. I have very many of them. And strangely enough, I still have unused. These have never ever been written to. I've had them sealed for some 25 years now, I believe, a little over 25 years. And so these are just examples of like a portfolio disc. Never written to, in fact, probably never touched 
um, just been sealed for all these years. So that's just a very basic uh, beginning and overview of um, my photo CD collection. And as I say, down the road, hopefully I will uh, go more uh, detailed in actually opening up some images and working with uh, the photo CD files of my original Kodachromes or photos that I shot with color negative, uh, 35 millimeter mostly, but all the way up to two and a quarter. So thanks for watching and um, hopefully uh, this will work out. Thank you.